Uh, congratulations on this big gift. I can't hear Jolene and not sing along with it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to resist, though, tonight out of respect for Dolly and for everyone on the other end of the screen. Uh, doctor, this is an amazing, amazing gift, as you know. How did it all come about? Well, I'm, I'm amazed, too. Uh, I have to say it was a surprise to us as well. I'm the director of the division. And I think Dolly initially was working with Najee Boomerad, one of my colleagues, uh, and gave a big donation a year ago to or two years ago, really, to our COVID research, working on the Moderna vaccine and working on antivirals and really allowed us to move that work forward. And then I had the amazing privilege of having dinner with her, with my wife and one of my colleagues and Dr. Boomerad, an evening of just spent talking about children. And her amazing contributions, for example, over a million books a year, a month, are given to children worldwide from her imagination library. And this is just who she is, amazing artist, brilliant philanthropist, incredible business person, and just a heart for children. And so we left that evening uh, just talking about those, those illnesses. And then a year later, um, I, I discover I'm called and told that she's going to make another donation to further more of our research in areas like antibiotic resistance, uh, preventing infections of children around the, uh, around the world and in, Van and in Nashville as well. So uh, I was, I'm as amazed as everybody, and um, I think it means more to people that I've actually met her and had dinner with her than anything else, and they're very envious of that. <laughs> dinner with Dolly, uh, hashtag goals for me, <laughs> sir. I hope to one day sit down with her, so put in a good word for me. Um, uh, she has a special connection to your hospital, I know. Tell us a little bit more about that. Well, I think that she's had, uh, you know, she's had care here. She has a great friend in Dr. Boomrod, who's in the Department of Surgery. And she has made contributions to Vanderbilt Children's Hospital. She's made contributions to our research in, in vaccines for COVID and antivirals for COVID. And she really just continues to be an advocate for, especially for children, but in, in general for research that's going to benefit people and prevent illness. And um, it's, it's just an amazing legacy that it's done so quietly and so really uneventfully. And, and suddenly she is making contributions that make a tremendous difference. Right. She doesn't want the attention on her. But um, despite mm -hmm. that, we wanted to talk about it tonight. Doctor, the future of medicine, as you know, is now. And this is so important. What is the biggest medical breakthrough um, right now in pediatric health care that you hope that we'll see soon? Oh, that's a tough one. Well, um, obviously, we would like to see the ability to uh, prevent infections. And I think the you know ways to do that with our ability to diagnose them more quickly, uh, to prevent them with uh, vaccines, with uh, new therapies that allow us to to treat more ra uh, to rapidly to diagnose them. And so that's just in the area of infectious diseases. Of course, we have many other critical critical um, needs in healthcare. And of course, I'm a pediatrician, so I love children and, uh, and I really focus on their being able to live full and productive lives without the problems associated with illnesses or infectious diseases. Right, and I've known for years, pediatric research um, for all of these different diseases, infectious diseases included, uh, woefully underfunded. So I know this makes a big difference. What would be your message to people who wanna get involved? It doesn't mean having a sick child doesn't mean that we're not obligated to try to open up our hearts and wallets. No, I, I think we, we just want to be aware um, that these needs continue to go. And certainly in terms of infectious diseases, it's not your first area you'd think of philanthropy. When people see us, there's usually something serious going on. And one of their happiest days is the day that we say, you don't need to see us anymore. Mm -hmm. But I think what it points out is in infectious diseases will continue to emerge. They'll continue to cause problems in healthy children and children with cancer and children with transplants. And we want to uh, just continue to uh, ask people to recognize that this is an important area and we're grateful for Dolly for leading the way. Well, I'm grateful that you came on tonight. Uh, let's have you back when uh, you put some of this money to good use and you have some great news to share. And as Dolly says, if you see someone without a smile, give them yours. I appreciate that tonight. It's my pleasure. Thank you for having me on tonight. Good to see you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.